Hey guys, I just wanted to share a couple things that I was thinking about. Um, I installed the new array that I, uh, the, um, the array that was from, uh, built out of Unistrut. So uh, that's around 3200-ish something watts. Um, and so I just installed it and it did get me to thinking the other evening um, how, uh, you know, these units, and, and this is going to be different for the grow watt units and, and things that are uh, using an auto transformer. But, um, you know, these two are each handling one phase. So, uh, what, people try to balance these, I'm sure, with their, their solar wattage. And, and my plan was to also, it just ended up being two months later to get this next array up. But I was thinking about the fact that, you know, each phase is, is uh, you know, taking care of you know, obviously one leg of the 240. And uh, so when it comes to, and things are messy here, but, <laughs> but when it comes to the the, the batteries, uh, when you have a large inductive load uh, startup, like say my well, um, the batteries take the first bit of the punch. Uh, so that little bit of surge. And then the units take over from there. So it's, a, it's a, you know, a split second. Um, but the fact that I had such an imbalance, I had 1,600 on one side um, and close to 6,000 watts on the other inverter. And so obviously that's not ideal, but that also got me to thinking that the inverters themselves, the one side could use solar only, which they're able to do that in a sense, even with the split phase uh, after the initial surge. So uh, my one side was doing fine. I just didn't really pay attention to it close enough, but it got me to thinking that um, the one with the more wattage, so the 6,000 close to 6,000 something watts, um, was running off of sun most of the day, even in um, partially cloudy days. The other one was running off of battery. So there I am almost chasing my tail really, <laughs> which it's obvious, but when you think about it in the, in the larger loads, it really makes sense where I'm charging with one and using the battery with the other. And the other one's taking care of the leg off of sunshine. And the other one's kind of, I mean, it, it, it does, it's a testament to the fact that these machines are very smart, but a more balanced uh, panel uh, arrangement on each is really going to help now um, you know even even with the smaller loads as far as maybe all your fridges are on one leg and um, maybe you have a mini split on the other um, so it, it really helps when possible to balance these and this is really going to help me now as far as running well or water heater or any of those 240 loads both of my legs can be supported by the sunshine at this point um, since I'll have, it will be much more even as far as wattage. So, uh, I'd be interested to see what my numbers look like from now on as far as usage and then what the battery usage is like now, because, you know, I was still using battery during the day for those obvious reasons. Um, just not one leg was still using the battery much more often than the other. So, uh, I know this is obvious in a way, but uh, these channels really are about learning. So, uh, at least that's why I've been making the videos, trying to give other people's I ideas of what I've done. And I, I use lots of other people's ideas too. So, uh, anyway, yeah, balance load when possible. And especially if you have, uh, an inverter handling each phase, uh, much better. Um, and which was my plan, like I said, all along. It just took me a couple of months more to get there. Uh, so it's really going to help with my numbers from now on, especially when you get towards uh, winter. I'm going to be anxious to see what uh, uh, that looks like also. Um, but yeah, I know this is not uh, very clean looking, but yeah, that is uh, uh, pretty much... I think the majority of the panels I'm going to be doing for now, majority of the work, I am going to be putting some um, 4 out wire in there from batteries to 
the bus bar, which um, I think is a much better idea. It's something that didn't occur to me at the time. So I'm gonna be moving a couple things. I'm gonna be moving the negative over to the center. Um, so a little bit more tweaking, but probably towards fall for that. Uh, but most most of it for now is gonna is done and, and is running really, really nice. Um, so yeah, this was, uh, like I said, maybe an obvious video for some, but the, something to keep in mind for everyone. And uh, I'll be uh, probably making another video this week, hopefully on the critical loads panel. I'm gonna be doing a little bit more wiring there. So hopefully I can grab a, a video of that while I'm in there. All right, thanks for watching.